Delaware Valley's leading news program with meteorologist Brittany Boyer, Jamie Apodi, and Walter Perez. Sunday night, I'm Walter Perez, along with Jillian Mealy, and tonight, it is all about the Eagles. Yeah, it's looking real good it right is. now. The fans are hyped, the crowds are loud, they're going to be getting louder, I can tell you that. The green pride is flying high throughout Philadelphia right now. The birds took the first touchdown of the NFC Championship game and held the lead at halftime, and they still do. That's right, here's a live look at South Philadelphia. Right now, it's the fourth quarter, minutes to go, 31-7. Kind of anticlimactic, but at this point, it seems locked. I mean, just four minutes to go with this kind of a lead. It seems pretty sure the Eagles are going to the Super Bowl. Action News at 6 has live team coverage of the big game, and we can tell you the word loud does not even describe the chaos that will be happening around the city tonight. Let's get to Action News reporter Chad Fridelli, who is live at the link. Chad, a few more minutes to go. Yeah, guys, that game could not have gone much better. You know, a couple minutes still left, but this was an easy victory for the Eagles. You know, Brock Purdy, the quarterback of the Niners, went out uh, early in the game, and it really wasn't much of a game after that. Fans have been streaming out for most of the fourth quarter. They're really beginning to pour out of the link, and as you can imagine, they are hyped, and they were hyped before the game as well. Tailgating has a different feel when the game on the line is for a trip to the Super Bowl. It's like a national holiday today. Everyone is just feeling electric for this game. This atmosphere is unbelievable. It's better than any other sports fan base in the country, in my opinion. The smell of the grills and cheesesteaks filled the air early this morning as fans poured into the parking lots. Bago boards were out. The beer and booze flowed freely. I slept two hours last night. I could not get to sleep. We go to Arizona. The birds battled all year to earn the number one seed and home field advantage in these playoffs. Now they have to make it count. Sometimes we forget that we still have a game to go to, so it's actually like a second level of hyperness. It's good to be a Philadelphia fan these days. While the fighting Phils couldn't bring home a World Series championship, fans expect this team in green to get it done. The Super Bowl that happened a couple years ago was definitely a highlight for a lot of people. Um, I've heard people say it's better than their wedding day. So that just goes to show, you know, how much this means to people. Yeah, fans certainly excited. Been talking to them as they come out of the stadium. You know, this team went 14 and three during the regular season. Best record in the NFL. Still many fans with whom I spoke. They say this do this team has the, the feeling of an underdog. They actually hope they're an underdog in the Super Bowl so they can get yet another victory and show what this team can do. Impressive win here for the Eagles outside of Lincoln. Certainly, fans are excited. I'm live outside the link. Chad Perdelli, Channel 6, Action News. Back to you guys. Going to Arizona with a full head of steam. Oh, my All right, goodness. Thank you, Chad. Let's go to Action News reporter Brianna Gallagher in the crowd there inside Xfinity Live. Hey, Brianna. Hey, Walter. Hey, Jillian. You guys couldn't have said it any better. I feel like it's been so loud here today in South Philadelphia, but it's just going to keep getting louder and louder. We talked to fans who got here at 11 a.m., because they wanted to make sure that they got a great spot inside to watch the birds. Now we're just minutes away from going to the Super Bowl, and fans have faith. They are confident. I mean, the energy here, the atmosphere, the electricity, they are just so excited to be at Xfinity in South Philadelphia. Because if you couldn't get tickets or didn't want to drop a pretty penny on them, this is where fans wanted to be today at Xfinity in South Philly. I tried to spend $4,000 on tickets, and it didn't go through, so we came here instead. Where else would you want to be for the game? I mean, other than at the stadium, this is the only place that I'd choose to be. It's always a good vibe here. It's always lit. I can feel the energy. And wall to wall, it is a sea of green here at Xfinity. There are several thousand fans. They know it's crowded, but they also knew this is where they want it to be today if they couldn't get into the link because this is where they wanted to celebrate. We're now reporting live at Xfinity Live, Brianna Gallagher, Channel 6, Action News. Walter, Jillian. The place is going to erupt it's going to shake. in just a few yeah, minutes' the, the time. The whole city's going to shake. <laughs> Brianna, thank you. Action News reporter Sharifa Jackson brings us live coverage from Philadelphia's May Mayfair neighborhood tonight where I can already hear them, Sharifa. <laughs>
Yeah, about the start of the fourth quarter, people started trickling out into the street. And now at this point, it's just minute by minute, more people have been making their way to this area. I think in the last two minutes, I probably heard the Eagles chant about 10 times so far. So everyone is super excited. And just to give you an idea of where we are, we're at the corner of Frankfurt Avenue. We're at Naki Body Curve Studio inside of here. So we have a great vantage point because everyone is, is expected to flood the streets. And two words an officer, officer just said. Let's get ready. <laughs> Game day at Real's restaurant and bar on Frankfurt Avenue looks something like this. They reached capacity long before the game began. Security at the door turning people away. The fans crowded in, ready to watch the NFC matchup against the Philadelphia Eagles and the San Francisco 49ers. It's extra special. Enjoy myself with the crowd. It's just always hype. I'm excited. I'm ready to get this win. Let's go, Eagles. Let's go. Watching with excitement, not too much worry. When I ask about the unwavering confidence as the Eagles playoff model goes, it's a Philly thing. I'm an Eagles fan, so we got to have confidence. We playing beautiful. We got an amazing team. The guys are looking great. We out here. We getting this dub, man. I ain't, I ain't worried about nothing. And not worried about anything at all. And you see people already have started celebrating. More and more people are expected to congregate over in this area. Now, police, they begin blocking this area off pretty early. A lot of officers, they made their way to the corner. I was told it's about 400 to 500 who are here to make sure that they maintain some order. But they hope everybody just celebrates and celebrates peacefully. We'll be here watching it all. We're live from Mayfair, Sharifa Jackson, Channel 6, Action News. Walter, Julian. Yeah, that intersection is going to look much different in about one minute. In about a minute. That's right. <laughs> More you. live coverage of the NFC Championship game. Action News reporter Andy McCormick joins us live from Center City with details there. Hey, Andy. Yeah, Walter and Jillian, this is the second event. Sharifa and I are covering the second event, not the game, but the celebration. I can show you that here on Broad Street, police are prepared and people are already spilling out. You can see people with their phones out. They're excited. But right here at this intersection at Broad and Spruce is where police are now directing traffic. They are keeping vehicle traffic out of this portion of Broad Street that goes all the way down to City Hall. Now, there is is vehicle traffic allowed prior to Spruce Street down Broad Street. You can see down there the barricades that already went up. They went up actually on Friday afternoon. The poles, we are told, have been greased. You can see a police van heading up Broad Street that way. That van could be holding a number of police officers that they're just going to move throughout the city wherever they are needed most. It can also be used to cart off some revelers that may get out of hand at one point in the night. Now, they want people to be safe. They're okay with people coming out here and being excited. Like I said before, kind of jokingly, I don't think that there's really a lot of 49ers fans in the city, so I think they're probably good, but they're hoping that the Eagles fans will be cordial to them. So now, as you're seeing here on Spruce Street, you're seeing a couple people running across the street in Eagles jerseys. That's because at 15th and Locust, there's those four bars right there, and that's where you're going to start people start to see them leave so that they can head to Broad Street. After the Phillies one and we knew that they were going to make it into the World Series. It was at Broad and Locust that a guy got up really high on one of the poles there and then several streets up at Broad and Chestnut is where another guy got really high up on the poles. That's something that they do want to avoid. They don't want you to fall. They don't want anything horrible to happen. So they're trying to get people not to do that. So as the crowds now are spilling out, you're also going to see all of those crowds that you saw in Chad and Brianna's live shots. They're going to start taking the Broad Street line, leaving the stadium. They're going to get off at whatever exits are open so that they can fill Broad Street. I assume that the Broad Street line is open around City Hall just because there's numerous exits there on that one that might be able to be better controlled by police. But already in the time that I've been talking, you can see up there from Walnut Street heading north towards the south apron of City Hall is where you're seeing a number of people congregate and when the Eagles won the last time that's where it got the craziest right there that's where there were just so many people in that one area so we're watching we're waiting to see we're up here we have a good vantage point and right now it looks like this is just the beginning of the celebration tonight for now we're live in Center City Andy McCormick Channel 6 Action News Walter and Jillian that's right Andy and it is official 31 to 7 is the final the Eagles are the NFC championship 
team, which means they're, they're going burn. to the Super Bowl. That's they're right. Going it's over. to Arizona. Yep.